2014. We're looking at images of Velasco C3 and uh, charged particles resulting from the X 4.9 solar flare. Um, we were experiencing a little bit of uptick. Thank goodness we were only on the edge of that thing. If that had been Earth facing, uh, it'd have been kind of rough. Uh, this is a coronal hole that we've experienced a little uh, rise in solar wind speed and uh, the particle density uh, coming from the uh, the X flare. Uh, solar wind right now is at 405 kilometers per second. The density is, is at 3.6 protons per cubic meter. Uh, kind of on the down a little bit, maybe on the rise just a just a little over the last few hours. I think like six kilometers per second. Uh, KP index we got up to six, it peaked at six. It's on the decline now. Uh, fell to five a solar storm. Now it's at one. Well, actually two, one to two. It's a six-hour, six-hour solar storm. The earthquakes. Uh, we've been under the Earth's under pressure from the solar wind and uh, that X flare. Even though we were on the edge of it, it still, it still uh, got us in a solar storm and put pressure on the Earth. Uh, there's been several right along the equator, as you can see. Uh, today, we had 35 earthquakes worldwide, of magnitude 2.5 or greater. Uh, 174 worldwide, all magnitudes. Uh, in the last seven days, we've had 81 uh, uh, 4.5 or greater so the earth has been uh, rocking and rolling like it says in the Bible Jesus said there'd be a earthquake in diverse places or many places and uh, that seems to be the case here lately uh, just a heads up <clears throat> all, no fear March the 1st 2014. God bless.